Morning everyone. This week I'm going to put together a little Christmas gift um, using twigs, mini, mini inks and watercolour paper. I have got to show you some ideas for little handmade watercolour booklets. My eyes are all over the place so I've got lots of things to collate to get organised, to get together. The camera at the moment is sitting on a tripod on my shelf bench. And with all the vegetables etc behind. I'm not going to get rid of it, I'm going to move the veggies board. Veggies, as with the landscape, will just be ongoing. I can dip in and out. What I'm intending to do is get a big sheet on another board on that wall above shelf bench to show you different approaches. I want to use different tools for mark making with the inks. So I won't keep rambling on. I'll crack on. I've got to run down and get my mini hoover to get rid of any glitter. That's that's my plan this morning. This um, is a homemade concertina. I grappled <laughs> with a very large sheet of paper on the sofa last night and that I hope you can is the scale of it and this is a big version. Um, you basically take your sheet and you fold it in half like so. So you fold that in half. I've attempted to show this on my kitchen counter. You basically put it into thirds, fold it, you fold it in half, you fold in again and that side fold in again. So you've got all your folds. <laughs> then you cut these three and on the other side cut those three and it just should fold quite nicely into a concertina. Three squares down and three squares up. <laughs> so funny and then the whole thing literally concertinas in <laughs> oh lord i made a front cover ink I was actually going to say mostly ink because i i got carried away introduced a bit of collage a bit of acrylic um so but the project is ink the project is to gift someone an opportunity to play with a bottle of ink and a few mark making tools. So I put down some very washy watercolour just to lose the white paper as usual and I'm going to put it up but I want to experiment, I want to experiment with the tools to see what marks I can get with my ink. That's the next, stage two. So I've got my, my lovely collection of twigs. I really like the ones with knobbly ends. Let's have him out. I got slightly carried away, as you do. And also in here, I found that in the greenhouse, empty plastic containers will work to pour your ink into. You need water. These are handy, the little portable water sprays. But you can dip your, you can dip your, your twig into your water, into your ink, and you can get going in that way. I've got, I've got a few feathers just wispy things I found out, dried up bits of plant. That's interesting. I've never used that before. I've used bamboos before. I've used bits of stick before. I'm going to attach some things 
to some bits of stick to give me less control. So if I attach that to that, that that will be really good fun. Uncontrolled, unexpected marks. I've bound together a few bits of brush that I can attach to a bit of stick. So that might be great fun. That will be really good fun. All sorts of different things. So I'm just going to dip into the water first. I'm going to have a little swish around. So multiple twigs. I need to fix my paper. If you weren't making a concertina, you, this makes great collage material. The usual, messing around, just making marks. Something interesting might come. You need to try and vary your direction, vertically, horizontally, a wiggly mark, a dead straight mark. I could come in now with black, but I know what I really need to do is let that run and let that dry. I could turn it upside down now, work in another direction. So I quite like that, the idea of a thicker mark, something much more deliberate. Oh gosh, this one's <laughs> dramatically falling apart. That's the that's the lovely thing about it. It's um it's so quick to put a, a tool together that you don't need to worry if they fail. Okay. So it's the usual thing for me. I like the minute I get something bold, something stronger, I feel happier. I feel more connected to it, to those clunky marks. Um, I like the feathering that you get. So that comes from your water spraying. So anything that looks a bit boring in there. So let's just see what happens. The water shifts the tonality of the ink as well. So you want lights, mediums and darks. This is really, really thick paper. So inexpensive, it doesn't have to be expensive paper. I will let that dry and then we will, stage two, we'll go on to stage three.
I thought it would be really good to show some alternative paper ideas. So I've got lots of things again to share. I wrote a few notes in Canson to help me just so that I don't forget anything. So I thought it would be good to look at other paper options. And oh, a long, long time ago, I did a little book binding day or a couple of days so long ago that I can't remember where I did it, who I did it with, but the beautiful result, and I've unburied this from the cupboard that holds sketchbooks, right at the back, it's got a little bit of damage. I never used it. I made it. I can't believe I made it. It's watercolour paper. And I do remember that you put, you put, you stitch a few folds of paper together and they are called signatures. And then you put all your signatures together and you bind and glue the seam. You use hard card covered. Last night, this has been driving me nuts because now I'm thinking I want to go and do another book binding course. I want to make more books. I found a lovely video that I watched last night, which I thought was superb. On this very type of little hardback watercolour book that you can make yourself. But what I did do is it's a very sweet little option. I couldn't resist putting in, well, a work in progress putting in a front cover. The other idea, I thought that's rather nice to put a, a ribbon on a simple fold of paper. You could then go and collect up handmade papers. I found, again, I've had this for years, a, a trip when the children were small. I can remember this French trip and finding this really thick, handmade watercolour paper. There were many sheets in this little pochette and now I've just got, there's just a, two or three left in there. But that made me think, well, you could put that together to go as a gift. I've got concertina to show you, now it's all folded back down. The next stage, I thought to make this gift if you're going to make a small gift, so I'll just slide that back in there. If it's going to be a smallish little gift. Yesterday with the dog, we went and collected up wiglets. These are a bit jumbo for the jumbo work. But if you wanted to just do a little, where's my string? I need to, I'll get my string. I'd string those together and how sweet would that be to have a little, that as a little gift. So all that's left really is something to put it in. I want something to put it in. I thought we've got many charity shops in Tunbridge Wells and I visited yesterday afternoon every single one looking for baskets, small, perhaps something small, a tray. I wanted something basketish. I wanted something or wooden just to, to go with the whole theme. And in every, that was all I came back with. It was really inexpensive, but that would take the small, your small books, a couple of twigs, that, that would make a nice little gift. This morning, having discussed it with Craig, <laughs> he, he's measured for a tray with a section here for some twiglets. Let me grab my, for some twiglets and a section here for a few pots of ink. So how, how cute would that be? He's going to be working on that. I don't know how long that will take. Obviously I want it in about an hour. 
I will work a bit more on this front cover and I could even give it a glaze, a gloss if I wanted to, a matte, a matte medium or a gloss medium. But when it's when you put your concertina back together, what good fun, um, because now I've got some lovely areas to, or a lovely ground to start working on. I could go in now with collage, which I will, some collage, some black ink. I could use, I can use any medium I want now in here. I really love it to bits. I need to just explain that when you fold the con this concertina, this size, the way I've shown, you get two sections. So here and here, you get this strange fold, which is not a vertical fold, but it sits at the bottom. So what I propose to do is I am going to glue that edge and glue that edge, but I, and the back. So in effect, I'm losing those two blanks in the middle, but I don't, but it doesn't matter because I, they will make a nice little pocket. Um, I might put a few pieces of collage material tucked in there. So as you open it out, you've got that one, and then you've got, where's he gone? Then you've got that, that one. That one is not so much of a problem, but the same thing, I will glue that. That just annoys me a little bit. But, I mean, I love those. I love those two pages. Yeah, I'm, I'm just loving that. I just think, as a gift over the holiday, when people have got time to sit down. So, all that remains now then, whether you use your twiglets your, or you gift some big tools that you've attached to bits of stick is for you to choose the receptacle to put it in, put a ribbon on it. And the last, last thing, when I'm making my cards, there are always times when I, when I mess up and I'm going to cut out to make a gift tag. I will obviously drop in images It's a lovely thing to do. It's lovely to go hunting for baskets. I have, I have, I love baskets. I've always collected baskets. There is a little shop in Tunbridge Wells, a very sweet antique shop. And and they have a few baskets outside and I, I have to try and not look because I already have baskets that size. This requires something a little bit different, something smaller, different shape. Your, your regular basket, again, that would be lovely filled up with goodies. You could really go to town and put charcoal and all sorts of goodies in a basket like that. Um, and then that could be the twigging basket. I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop now. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting. Don't forget the community post, so don't forget to hit the notification bell. I've said it again, have a super, super week. Next time, I know what's in my mind. I've got, I've got in mind to talk to you about New Year's resolutions. I have something I want to achieve in the new year. So that I will that will come next week. Thank you again and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.